Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Houck, and right now we're going to do lesson 4.2, which is remainders. We learned in class that the vocab word remainders means any items that are not put in a group after dividing. We're going to do number 2, which is 24 divided by 7. I have a dividend of 24 divided by a divisor of 7. What that's asking us to do is to put 24 into groups that have seven in each group. And the way we did it in class, and one of the easiest way to do that is using math counters. I have 24 right here. So I'm gonna put them into groups that have seven in each group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just believe me, that one also has seven. So we have three groups that all have seven inside. That becomes my quotient. Three groups. And what about those guys? They don't fit in the group. Those become our remainders. And we mark that by using the letter R and then the remainder. Now what can you do at home if you don't have counters like this? Well, you can do a lot of things. You could use pennies, you could use crayons, you could even cut up a piece of paper into little circles or squares and use those as counters. Or you can do what they're asking us to do in number nine and just draw counters. Here I have 14 divided by three. They're asking us to take 14 and put it into groups with three in each group. I have a little hint for you. When you're going to draw your counters, you're going to, want to draw them in groups. That's your divisor. Check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. See how I try to draw the circles in groups of three? Makes it easier when you circle them later on. I have one group of three, two groups of three, three groups of three, four groups with three. These leftovers become my remainder. I'm going to show you how this works on the multiplication chart like we were doing the other day. So don't forget we had 14 divided by three. Here are my multiples of three. I'm gonna look for 14 without going over. Do you see what my quotient is? It's four. There's four whole groups that you can make with 14. Isn't that cool? This is gonna be really important when we start dividing with bigger numbers and you don't wanna use the counters. I just wanted to show you how that was connected to what we did in 4.1. Hopefully this was helpful to you, and if you have any questions, then you can bring them back to class. Thank you.